Howdy, your Trixel host, Reese here. I'm here to proudly present to you our first installment of our Father's Day Trix video. Since it is, this one here is a special. So it's loosely based on it. Here we got is a two parts for this one. So here is our first one on our first set of eight. So what do we have on here? What we're gonna get into our first trick from here. And that goes into the magic burnt up match. Magic trick. Is what this burnt up match, magic trick, will look like. So here I've got my um, match here, and it got my lighter. And it actually is a give this a light first. That. Watch. One. Whoa, I just dropped that and look, it came right back. You see me just drop it after it went out just like that? You see, I got this, but watch this. Since it's already been burnt up, if I just take my flashlight, my uh, flashlight here, watch. It regenerates. How's this uh, burnt up match, match trick done? As is about to reveal the secrets. Here's what we need to pull this off. First things first, I'm gonna turn on some light. There we go. And then here, I sit right to the tricks table. Oh, I sit tricks table. What are things that you'll need to get for this magic trick? And that's what you'll see just right here. You will need two matches. Your magician's thumb tip. And a sharpie. So only one, two, three, four, four items for this. What I just want to do first things first is place one match aside and some tip some tip aside. What you're going to is decap just the a sharpie like this. Like that. And you're going to is with the uh, sharpie is it going to color the uh, tip of the match like this. Make sure you get it all around and kind of down a bit. Like this. That will look like the match burn. Like that. Okay, so now that you got that, you are good to go. Just done. Just place the sharp, sharpie cap right back on and place that side. What you're going to do is get your thumb tip, paste it onto your thumb, then get your um, one that you just uh, 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 colored and stick it into the back of it like this. Just like that. That way it's easy to go like this. You're going to have this in the back of, of your hand like this. Facing this way. There now you'll get your first match. And you're gonna go to hold it just like this. The hold is like that. The hold is just like this. Make sure the match does not flash out like that. Have it about there. And then what you'll be me next is a lighter. You see just right here. You're going to hold like this. Like that. You're gonna first is give this a light. You got that right. On goes light and goes like that. Bring a light. Make sure it goes make sure it goes down. Like that. And you're going to do is brought like that. And just throw this down like this. And like that. So throw. Bring it up and have to 
appear. And look, again, completely burnt up. But this is your gimmick one. So after you finish that, you're going to is take your um, grinder again and give it a light. Like that. Bad bad magic. It relights. As you see, just for here. There, you can give that a blow. That's all too. There it brings the light out there as well as the warmth. And the flame of magic. Bring, bringing warm heart and warm hugs with that one as well too. It's a perfect answer trick you could do that would definitely surprise your dad as well as the entire family and everyone as, as well too. And again, be careful because there you're working with uh, flames you know, in there as well too. But overall, it makes a very epic magic trick that you, that you can do that will definitely stun, amaze, and impress everyone with that one. I know how that magic trick was done and performed. And that right there is how you do the magic trick too, the magic burnt up match magic trick. Bring us down to our trick number. This is right here. Two. From this, the uh, workshop to you. That goes to the magic kinetic spring magic trick. And so this will look like this. I'll see you back to our trick table for this one. Okay, so here I got is this spring right here. You can see? This is the place that's right there. Like that. We'll see what I can do with this spring right here. You see, it has empty hair and right there. And actually, it is something very magical with that spring. Watch the spring. Are you ready? Watch this. You can see that spring? Right there. I've been on the close, you can see it. There, I've been doing it over here so you can see it. Just right there. Well, so I'm going to try to put my finger over like this. And begins to move. I'll bring it coming closer so you can see it so you can see it again. Okay, right there. I'll bring it over here this time. So you can see it's just right there. Okay, again, watch that spring. Right there, it's gonna extend my finger. Right here. You can see it? It's actually moving. So how am I getting it to actually move? So how am I actually doing that with the spring? As it is, I'm about to reveal the secrets. This is what you'll need to get the spring here to move. I will beneath this are two simple things for for this one. And that's what you'll see right here. You will need is a, a spring, small or big. That will attract to a magnet. This is what you'll see right here. A powerful magnet. Just right here. You're going to cons cons conceal the magnet into this hand like this. So that way you can easily pick up the uh, spring with this hand. And so. And so it's hand completely empty. And as you put this down, you're going to actually put the magnet in like this into your hand. This now is into your fingers like this so it's easily to get a charge from your fingers to pass it to the spring right here. Extend your point, point, point finger I move. You 
with that. But also, it's flip the manga over like this. And point your finger out again. Like that, and it'll start to move. Like that. Or you're gonna use the fingers. You're gonna just go like this as if you're magically just uh, gonna pull it like this. And by magic, it starts to move. So cool, one you could do with a magnet and you no know, a, uh, a spring and a magnet. Only two simple things for this match trick. Makes a, uh, a cool little ta tabletop match trick that, that you could do that would definitely surprise your dad as well as the entire family as well as well too. And if you do the magic trick too, the magic kinetic spring magic trick. To my next trick, we get to but two trick number three. Goes to our trip which I like to call the the magic vanishing screw to the hand magic trick is what this will look like. So go go into the shop and get only one screw and we'll make magic which was a shop magic happen. So here I got this one Right here, gonna actually is uh, make this completely vanish and go back into my hand. So here, I'm going to is just to go in to my hand. Actually, is to place it into my hand just like this, and my hand like that. Here, okay. So now it's in my hand. We will actually. To be impossible and make this completely vast. So gonna hold it right there, like that. Watch. <sighs> I make it completely vanish. But wait one second. Then actually just to make it actually appear again. Watch. Whoa! It appeared, but it gave it gave us a trick. So how did I get the one? Screw to vanish and into the palm of my hand. As is about to reveal the shop screw to you right now. Here's what you'll need to pull this one off. And that's what you'll see here in the in in my hand. You'll need are two screws. It must be the same, like a, a, a gold or a silver. As you can see, just right here. Okay, so what we're going to do is. You'll put one, one of the uh, screws into your long sleeved shirt in the sleeve like this. So it's just like right, right inside here. Don't know if you can see it. It's just right here. I'll just uh, pull up so you can see it a little bit more. It's just right there. So we're gonna sort of in like that, so that way. You know, so off with it like this. Have only one screw, uh, screw into the palm of your hand. You see this here, like that. So you're going, going to do that for starting off. Put out this the uh, screw, and you're going to have um, like a yeah jack or whatever like that it has a pocket, which is what you'll see just right here. This will provide the ditching for the screw. Grow that I hold. Hold your hand, connect it to your pocket, like this. I place it into a pocket, like this. Like that. Put it in, like this. Hold the hand like that. They'll know that the screw is in the hand, but really it's just into your pocket, but they won't even know. Keep your hand like this, and then put your hand over. Like this. It's not there, but they'll know. And you can blow, blow on it like this. <sighs> like that, or be very epic. And make it vanish. After that is done, all you're gonna do is. You're going to is dump it, uh, it out like this. Obviously, like that. And you're gonna go. 
snap your fingers and it appears back into your hand you see just here. Now for the trick that in itself, um, there was, let's say, a natural trick by itself. I don't know how that happened, but um, apparently um, is that the screw will it'll just stay into your palm. You see, just just right here. It's a very cool trick you could do. This involves the screws of the workshop. And that right there is how you do the magic trick to the bashing screw to the hand. Magic trick. Bring us down to our trick number. Wait a second. Let me see if I can try and pull up our trick number. Let me see. I might have. Uh, oh, wait. Just wait. How about I can actually make something appear for this one? For our trick number. Watch this. Wow. Okay, so what trick? Let me see, there's nothing in the silk. But, wait one second. If I just go like this, I'm having it there, watch. Make our trick four appear by the silk. How is this one done? I will show you. But first, our trick title for this. And that goes to the gold magic Allen key coin. Magic trick is what this golden coin Allen key will look like. So here I got my Allen key right here. This is an Allen key. <laughs> and here I got all these uh, only two gold coins. You see me holding up this right here. It is very magical with this, okay? It's just, just to take one of these, I'll place this into my pocket. First things first, let me put down a key in my pocket over here. You can see it, it's this way here. <laughs> okay, it actually is uh, put, place this in like this. Put that into my hand right there. What I'm going to is place this one here into my pocket. Like that. I'll get my I'll get my Allen key now for this. Oh, there we go. Okay, gonna actually use something very magical with this Allen key. Let's see what you see here. So you you just saw me place that uh, that uh, that uh, coin in my pocket. Watch. We'll use this Allen key to direct it from my pocket to. A hand. Wow. Almost like um, a dowsing rod. Hmm. Interesting. Look what happened. It jumped right back. Now, the two are in my palm. And you saw me put one in my pocket. So how is this one done? You know, so you, this is done right now. Here's what you'll need to make Alan Key and Gold coin magic. Okay, so here is what you will need for this match trick. All eyes to the tricks table. As you all see, what you will be needing for this. Now here's what you'll see just right here. You will be needing our three gold coins. One, two, and three. Must be the same gold coins. Like that. Then you will be needing is a tool grate, an Allen key, which you see right here. Okay, what you want to do is get one coin and place it into your fingers like this. And that's all you need to do. You'll get only two coins out, one into this hand, one into your opposite hand like this. So you show off these coins like this. Like this, make sure that the coins right there with these two fingers going out like that. So this is the hold that has to be in, like this. Now first up I'm going to is show the three items, the Allen key and the two coins. First, 
Put the Allen key into your pocket. Like this. And then so the um, two, palm apart like that, and so that. You're going to is place one into your your pocket, but not right away. You want to is is uh place this coin in first like this, and drop the coin, the other coin in like this, so they will all go into your palm like this. Hold it like this, then place the other coin into your pocket. Use the Allen key like this, and you're going to is. From the pocket, you're going to actually move it closest to the hand, like this. Almost like a dowsing rod. Like this, so from here, pop it from right here, and go very slow, and it points to the hand. And look, by magic, it jumps right back into your hand by the use of an Allen key. And that's how you get gold coins to, um... Teleport from the pocket right to the hand by use of this very interesting looking key you see disappear. Makes a really a, 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 a cool uh, a golden shop magic trick that you could do that would definitely make your dad feel as in golden as well as everyone with their own as well, too. And that right there is how you do the magic gold Allen key coin magic trick. For our next one, you're going to take is some uh, tissue paper, a coin, and a precision screwdriver. And by magic, to penetrate the coin while inside of the tissue paper. Coming into our trick number five. That goes to the magic precision coin penetrator. Magic trick is with this. Well, Precision like. Okay, so here is the precision driver you see right here. Very nice and precise. And we all need is a um, nice coin right here. And this nice white tissue paper you see right here. First up, I'm going to just place that down and get this coin out here there for now. I'm going to is just wrap the coin into the tissue paper like this, right in the center, like that. I'll just get it uh, full like that. I'll just uh, place that in like that, and I'm gonna go like this. So the coin is uh, in the uh, tissue paper. Let me now is get my precision driver. Well, actually is uh, go and see so and try and uh, just go right to that coin. Like this. Whoa. Whoa. Oh boy. I just like um, used this and it went right through the coin. Yikes. Watch. We'll see what happens now. Okay. I'm just gonna proceed to like like un un unwrap it. Look. Coin is completely unharmed. How is that? How is that possible? I just drove. I just drove what? Right through it. I drove this right through the coin. Can you see me? Wow, that was definitely that, that was de definitely precise. So how did I do this? As it is about to reveal, let's go behind this team right now. Is what we need. Off. And as we will see here in the palm of my hand, you will be needing it's a coin. That's over gold ever, ever. A precision 
screwdriver, which is what this is. And I'm gonna need some white tissue paper. You see, just right here. So only three items for this magic trick. Okay, what you're going to do is take your precision driver and place it into your pocket for now. You won't need it yet. Get your coin. And you're going to is just unwrap the tissue paper like this first and place the coin in the center of the tissue paper right here. And then just fold it back like this. You're going to fold it in like this. Like that. This now will drop into your hand like this. You're going to hold on to it like this. We're holding on to the coin. Go and get your precision driver that you put into your pocket and go in and just unfold it a bit so you can easily um, go in to go right through. Provide pressure like this and drop it in like this. Like that. You're going to hold your fingers over like that to hold it in place so it gets stuck into the coin. Really, the coin is just right here. Like that, so it stays in just like that. And you can sew the, the impalement back in front, like that. After that is done, take the, 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 the precision driver out, like this. You can, you can use, you can screw it like, on like that. And what you're going to do is place this into your pocket. There. And as you unwrap this, you're going to actually is take the coin with your fingers and move it into a position like this and sew the coin like this. And then, then sew the coin completely unhard and pass the coin around for further um, examination. It's a very top best, very fine measure that you could do with the the, the, the the tool of choice, the precision driver, which is what you'll see just right here. The coin and the white tissue paper you can also use is construction paper if you want to, or um, sandpaper, whatever you prefer to make that magic trick happen. So here has been a precision screwdriver moment with the coin kind. And that right there is how you do the magic trick to the precision coin penetrator magic trick. Bring us on to our next one we get to, but to our trick number six. What is that too? But that goes to our title, the magic pull nail wrench magic trick. Is it this? Well, well. Look like. Here is something from the suit right now. Whoa! Check out this interesting looking nail. You know, this is almost like the average size, but a little bit different. Hmm. Well, there is different nail, uh, n nails out there. Oh, well, we have it here, but we have it as uh, a wrench. I wonder what I could do with this, with this n n nail, you see, just right here. Check, uh, ch uh, check this out. Okay, so here I got this, and I got this. Watch what I could do with this. I just take this, this wrench here, I just hold this like this. Watch, three, two, one. Whoa! I just created a workshop magic trick wonder. How is that possible? I just used this wrench here. I go like this very forcefully, and look what happened. It extended the nail. I've never had that happen before. Ever. Wow. I wonder how 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 I did that. 
Well, how did I do that? As is about to reveal how I did that to you right now. Here is the, here is the revealing on how I used the wrench to actually extend the one nail from the workshop. And that is what you'll see here at the uh, tricks table. Okay, so here you'll need is um, another tool. This is a wrench. You see right here, a plier, a plier wrench. You can, you can go like this and grip and pull, right? That's what this is for. Then you'll need is a nail. This is not any nail. It's actually a trick one. It actually is an antenna that folds in just like this. It's an antenna from a radio, but it's the same color as a um, nail. What you're going to is uh, get some tape, and you're going to is put like a, a top hat onto it, you see just right here, and uh, spray paint it or paint it the same color as the antenna. Just you can see, this folds in just like this. You want to start off with it. Already in just like this. First. Like that. For starters. Get the wrench and you get this. Now I'll show you how to actually use the wrench to to stretch the nail. It's pretty simple. Which thing first you want to do is um put your fingers over here so you can cover that part of the antenna there. And you gotta come up with the nail like this you can also put your into your pocket if you want to, and then pull it out. It's entirely up to you. Or put it into your jacket from here and pull out like that. Again, it's entirely up to you with that one. Okay, so you're going to say and just say that how interesting that this shop nail is, and then say, well, there's different kinds of nails out there for workshop, right? You're going to take your um your wrench pliers here and you're going to is hold on to this like this hold and you're going to is pull like this pull out like that but I want to do it very for forcefully forcefully like this see one two three like this but I want to be very epic like that and by magic by the pliers wrench you see right here give me a yank and by magic it extends and expands the nail. You see, this right here. It's a very surprising master trick that you could do that would definitely impress your dad with that one as well too. As well as everyone with that one as well too. There it gets two, um, two old like things on the shop. That is the, um, the ranch pliers as well as the nail. But that nail there was a trick one. So go make that, go make that, get that one there, and try it out and surprise someone today with the magic stretching nail wrench magic trick. And that right there is how you do the magic trick to that one. Give it up for the magic pole nail wrench nail that's a trick bring us down to our next one we get to but to our seventh one that goes to a magic trick which i like to call the multiplying magic tin coin that's a trick is what this will look like so here i got is this t a t tin here my dad likes to use that Probably for varnish or something like that. We'll, we'll use it for this magic trick. Yeah, I got this one gold coin here like that, and it actually is yeah, just uh, just put this in like this. Watch by magic, it multiplies. So how did I get the gold coins to multiply by this? As is about to reveal all the secrets. That's what you need for this. As you see here, just at the tricks table. And that's what you'll see right here. You'll be, be, be needing is this a pile like 10. And your beginning is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 
gold coins. As you see, haloing the tin. Okay, what you want to do is take your gold coins and you're going to is sandwich them together like this. Like that. Creating only one. Like this. You're going to hold it like this. Do not show it like this. So like that. That again, so you can completely empty like this. What you're going to do is take the lot like this, pass one coin, hold it like this, and then go over to the disc and throw one coin in like that. And that magic that multiplies by the ten. You see this right here. You also do it completely differently. You can take the lot. Keep it all into your hand like this. Here's another way that you could do that. So one gold coin, put it in, and drop these off in like this. And go ahead and go like this. You could do that way if you want to. It's entirely up to you. And that right there is how you do the magic trick to one. It's a very golden one that you could do. That will definitely bring gold stars in the morning I that one as well as your dad as well too. Making him feel nice and special. And now right there is how you do the magic multiplying tin coin magic trick. Coming down to then to our last number to our trick number eight. Goes to the magic putty knife and deck. Magic trick. This is what this putty knife and deck will look like. Here's the performance view right now. Hey, see, I got a putty knife right here, and I got my deck. They're gonna actually this is a place the putty knife on this one here for now, just like that. Okay, like that, so it stays right there. We will actually just use this here. I'm gonna take this one card off. It's okay if I see it. Okay, so what is this? It is what it appears to be is the Ten of Hearts. You're gonna actually is put into the, this portion of the uh, deck like this. I'm gonna actually is go in here like this. But first, this I'm gonna give it, give it a shuffle like this first. Okay, I'm gonna actually is just put it on top of that pie knife right there. Okay, I'm going to is see what I could do. With the pie, the, the, the a pie knife. Watch this very, very carefully. Let's see him try and move the card. What card? The ten of hearts. Wow. And again, take, take, again, take a look at the at the at the at the, uh, pie, at the, at the pie knife. So how did I get the card? I shuffled the deck by the pie knife. As is, I'm going to reveal the secrets. And you'll need to pull this one off. And that is what you'll see just right here. Here's what you'll be needing to get for this. You will be needing some scotch tape, two different card decks. I mean, it was the same card deck, excuse me. And you'll need our two duplicate cards. You see this right here. You'll, you'll be Meaning is only one deck to go with it. And of course, it will be meaning is the pie knife, which is what you used use for like, um, getting like nearly like a putty and it's going like this onto a wall. I'll show, I'll, I'll show you exactly um, what it's like when being applied to a wall. I guess so you find a hole like that and it's going like this, right? this that's what these are for but we're gonna use this for a magic trick with the card deck so let's remove these out of the way and I'll show you what you will be, be doing with the card deck first so I'm gonna take the two and then going to is just uh, cut a deck like this just like that you'll place one Duplicate right here, under there, just as is, and have that side. Then this one here just stays on top. Like that. 
take your penny knife and your scotch tape here, and you're going to is get yourself a hunk like this. And you're going to fold like this. You can also use double sided tape if you want to. Like this. And you're going to apply it onto the pine, the pine knife. Just like this. On here. You're going to have the pine knife just like this. Before the trick is started, you want to is have the card here. Being stuck to the pine knife. Before, pie knife now gets stuck onto it just like this. Stick like that, so it stays just like this, like that. Take the top card and show, and you're going to is put it into your hand like this, like that, and pull this forward like this and drop this off. At the edge of a table. Then you're going to is like um, give it a shuffle like this. This is like any random card right here. This any random card that you put this upon. Place this upon here like this. Then you can go with your fingers, wave with the metal fingers, or if you want to, you use an Allen key. Or a screw and wave over like this if you want to. It's entirely up to you. Then the guy do is you just hold it, hold this very loosely, and just pull the um, pine knife out like this. Do not show the card right away. What you want to do is take it off the tape like this, and then show the card. And then place it on top. Then remove the tape off of the pine knife like this. And show the, the pine knife back and front. There it gets your well known tool great. The pipe the putty knife and the card deck. And with that Scotch tape. You got yourself an amazing um, tool and deck master truck. Make sure to pick up a second deck to go with it as well too. It's a great master truck that will definitely surprise your dad as well as the entire family as well too. Making it a surprising car deck and tool master truck from the, from, stay from the workshop. And that brings us to our, our, our close of Summit 1, Part 1. Now, coming up with this is will be our Part 2. There we're seeing lots of great epic magic tricks that you could do. That will definitely fill big surprises with that one's well too. Now, I'll see you for Part 2 on our Summit 1. So, my yours truly, Reese. Peace. Same uh, my uh, bottom few out there. One love, one heart. Amen. <laughs>